flyer today that is targeted at the Malay community. Um, what things have been from you? How did that come about? Well, I think there's a big Malay community here. So uh, we just want to make sure that the message gets across. Because, uh, well, the Malay community, there are no specific issues, but Malay community needs to be taken care of. I think point number 13 was that you said that you have some advisors who will be able to help them for yeah, I have, I have quite a number of people advising me who are connected with the Malay community and they are Malay leaders themselves. Who are these people? Well, I don't think I'm a leader to review, to review the names. Okay. But I mean, just the general profile, what kind of advice on... on well, I think there are various dysfunctional families of the Malay community, uh, school children, uh, having problems to cope with schoolwork. These are, these, are, these are issues that are quite common to the Malay community. How do you get this? Well, by talking to my Malay advisors, my uh, yeah colleagues in the yeah. How involved are they in the community? I mean, what is their standing? Well, they are, they are. Where well, they they work the ground, you know. They actually they are quite close to the people on the ground. Are they uh, grassroots of, uh, leaders or? Uh, they are grassroots leaders and yeah. Okay. So when you say they can seek advice, is it um you are, you are thinking of a center where they can seek advice or just emailing you or talking to you? Well. It's more than just emailing, it's face-to-face -face contact, sitting down. Uh, when, if, when I get elected as president, then that will be the obvious thing. It's not just Malay community, everybody will be involved. What uh, particular issues uh, of the Malay community have been related to you? Well, the, it's the, the academic, is dysfunctional families in particular. Um, can I just ask a few questions? Yeah. Uh, basically? Roughly on three topics. Okay. The first is on uh, endorsements. Yeah. Uh, can you just ask, uh, you know, how important are endorsements to you? You know, we've noted that you've gone for a few yeah. Hainan and um, uh, clan uh, meetings, and you know, although they cannot directly yeah, yeah. endorse to you, but you know, you have been going to these events. Yes, so, you know, I, How important yeah. is it to you? Well, endorsements, whether coming official announcements or not, I think it must come from the heart, mm -hmm. and that's what I'm looking for. Official announcement statements, they do mean something, but more important is the individual members who must, who must exercise, who must think from the heart. So, uh, do you think that endorsements will matter in how well you do in polls? It may have a psychological impact, but people know what they want. Because like today, earlier, uh, uh, the Labour Chief used to say that there are about three quarters of yeah. the unions, NTUC affiliated unions, have endorsed Tony Tan, whereas yeah. the last 25. Um, are remaining neutral. So do you think this might swing the balance of things? Well, the significance in the number of people who remain neutral, not the number of people who endorse a particular candidate and they are prepared to go, uh, you know, to be different. Do you believe that uh, even though there are these endorsements, of, uh, official endorsements, endorsements by the union, mm -hmm. do you think that their members will actually follow the endorsements? Well, I can't speak for the unions, uh, but I do know some organizations where uh, people, members, uh, do not necessarily follow the endorsement of the committee. So you think all these unions that are officially endorsing Tony Tan, do you think their members will all actually vote for Tony Tan? Or? Well, it remains to be seen whether the, all the members, I can't, I can't tell, them, uh, tell you what they, 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 how they will vote. Yeah. As for yourself, are you quoting any one for endorsements? For example, the high Well, I'm not, I'm not going out of my way to endorse. I was invited to tea and invited to dinner and invited to lunch. So that's all, and I show my support by attending the functions. They are, they express certain concerns uh, that they hope they can they can take up when I get elected as president. So I show my concern, and that's it. I'm not going out of my way to seek. They invited me. Um, Mr. Tan, uh, a number of Singaporeans and there's been one letter uh, to the SC Forum today yeah. who has asked for more clarity uh, on your you know your your financial career. Yeah, I will answer them at the rally tomorrow night. Answer them at the rally tomorrow, tomorrow night. Speaking of the rally, uh, can you give us an idea of what you plan to speak? I mean, now that you brought up this issue. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, it'll be more uh, more about myself and how I feature in rather than issues. Maybe you can give us um, you know some answers now, perhaps. <laughs> For example, you know people have brought up this issue about why have you gone to so how, why have you worked in so many institutions? Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, I'll answer that next tomorrow evening. Oh, okay. Right. Um, Dr. Mukhammad um, has talked about uh, the president who would be someone like uh, on the double tackle bus. And so, what is your take on this? Well, I think it's a very colourful analogy, and it puts uh, the it removes it gives a very good picture to the common man and uh, very illustrative. And I think the the picture will stick with them. So you agree with him? Yeah, of course I agree with him. Can I also 
Minister asked, um, you know, just about an hour ago, the National Solidarity Party released a press yeah. statement saying that they would support the President who wants more clarity on reserves. Uh, they've also used uh, similar analogies as you have, uh, you know, citing Norway, for example, as the most transparent uh, sovereign wealth fund. You know, just wondering, since you have a number of NSP <laughs> people in your team, you know, was this something that you, I mean, did you talk to Hazel Pua, Secretary? No, I had no hand in this. I had no hand. In fact, this is a surprise to me, what you have told me. <laughs> yeah, I know nothing about this thing. Okay, right? but, uh, you know, they seem to be uh, implicitly endorsing someone like you who is calling for reserve. Well, Are as you, you know, Tessa, I'm always in favor of endorsement from anybody. <laughs> Even from PAP. So there has been no formal discussion with the various... No, no. I, I, I did not uh, go out of my way to, to talk to them. Do you know whether the, the prominent NSP members in your team, such as Steve, Jeanette yeah. and Nicole, have they gone on their own to ask uh, Hazel Kwa to write this? I am not aware of this. I don't know what they do. But they, all that they see is that they coming to my walkabouts and my functions. Uh, may I also ask about uh, your fundraising efforts so far? Yeah. Um, how much in donations have you gotten? I don't know. I don't really know. I hardly have time for myself. And, you know, I just came to the came back from the media call for an interview and it was just uh, having a change of clothes to come here. And I, I don't know. How much have you spent on the campaign uh, so far? Well, I don't know too. You know, how much have you spent? <laughs> <laughs> because there's an estimate that the rally will cost about 10 k right? Yeah, so yeah. So, you know, how much do you think, and you have said before that you are footing everything. Yeah, yeah, right now, right yeah, now. Right now you're footing everything. Right, so I, I am writing, yeah, footing everything. How much are you, have you spent on this movie? It's still telling. Huh? It's still telling. Is it yeah, a few, still telling. few tens of thousands? Or? In that kind of a uh, ballpark, yeah, in that kind of ballpark. Yeah. Can we get a final question, please? Yeah. yeah. Mr. Tan, on your economic ideas, I know you've been sort of uh, promoting them quite widely. Uh, recently, when if you get elected as president and you want to push through your ideas, but you, you know, you cannot with the, the government does yeah, yeah. not agree with you. you know, what are the ways? And you've talked about moral power and all that, but yeah, yeah. but what if they don't want to, uh, you know, but, agree with you? What, yes. Will there be a standoff between you? And no, I don't think so because the ex, the, ex, the president has nothing to stand off with, stand off the government with. So it's just moral persuasion and all that. And I hope the government will will have an open mind about things because we are all in this together we have no personal agenda and I'm sure the Prime Minister if he wants to have an alternative view uh, if I get the support of the people he will listen to me I'm sure he will listen to me for his own good so what if moral suasion doesn't work I mean what, what other tools do you have as president well um, in my own way I can set up foundations for the kind of limited uh, uh, to help uh, reach out to the disadvantaged groups, the elderly, the disabled, the children. These are things that I can do on my own without the government's cooperation because I can start my own charity. Anybody can start his own charity. And to reach out, I can, you know, yeah.